you're putting your home on the market and you want to know, should I stay for the showing or should I not stay for the showing? Or maybe you're thinking, can I stay for the showing or not allowed to? Hey, it's Damien Gatier, Damien Gatier and Associates Realtors, broken by EXP. I get that question every every once in a while. My listing agents get that question every once in a while. And first and foremost, it's your house. You have the right to stay. Okay, so if anyone tells you don't have the right to stay, then they're incorrect. But that being said, let's get the legal part out of the way. It's your house. You can stay. Should you stay? 99 chances out of 100. I'd almost say 100 chances out of 100. No, you should. Um, most of the time when we have a seller stay for showing, there's a lot of things that happen and none of them are good. First is that the buyer does not feel comfortable taking their time looking at the house. The buyer does not feel comfortable asking their real estate agent questions or asking for suggestions or maybe even commenting about things that you did that they don't like. And you have to understand when you put your house on the market, once you sell it, it's not going to be yours, it's going to be theirs. So there's going to be stuff that you did to make it personal that they just don't like. And they don't feel comfortable talking about that. We also find that a lot of times sellers know the negative about the house and start trying to explain away the negative. And that never comes across good to a purchaser. And so we always suggest, you know, leave the house, go to a restaurant, get something to eat, go visit a friend, go drive around for a little bit, just leave while the showing is happening and then come back. We will try to get feedback. Now, some agents give good feedback, many agents don't. A lot of agents are like, well, they didn't write an offer, so they didn't like it. But try to leave the house, try to give the buyer time to look at it without being pushed or pressured for time without following them around. We had one seller recently that smoked and would follow the seller around the house, the buyer around the house, smoking a cigarette the whole time and asking them questions and explaining the stuff. And just nobody felt comfortable. Nobody wanted to be around the cigarette smoke and the house expired on the market without being sold because we could not get that seller to quit following and quit smoking. When you want your house to sell for top dollar, easiest thing to do is make it presentable. Turn on the lights if you know they're coming and leave and then come back and just check your door, check your windows, make sure everything's secure and then go live your life the rest of the day. But if you really want to sell your house for the top dollar, you really do need to leave and let the other agent and the buyer go through your house, take a look at it. Feel free to comment, do whatever they want to do, and you will have a much smoother transaction. If you have one of your other tips on selling your house, please feel to reach out. Thank you.